Mm. So we understand that a beast, the Bible prophecy, represents a king or a kingdom. We see that this king is getting to come to the United States. How many of you know that the Pope is coming to the United States? Amen. You know he's coming to the United States. Amen. And he's not, he's not here coming looking for a bride. He's coming here to set up his kingdom. Mm. And, and all the things that we've been talking about in the Revelation seminars, on, on these amazing facts DVDs and Bible studies, the things about final events, it's coming to us real quick. It's almost here. In Revelation 13, that says that all the world is going to follow after the beast. But we don't want to be a part of that group that follows after the beast. Amen? Amen. We want to know how is it that we're not going to follow after the beast. And, and, and the real question is this. How could people, I mean Adventists, Baptists, Pentecostals, how can people who proclaim to be followers of God choose to follow after the beast? And the real question is this, how can people, how can you and I make sure we're not part of that group that follows after the beast? Yeah. John chapter 6 is a very interesting chapter. I've read it many times before, and, and I've always wanted to, uh, to really dig into it. And God led me to John chapter 6, because I want to know, how is it that people who see Jesus, who love Jesus, who profess to follow Jesus, can, can find themselves deciding that they don't want to follow him anymore. Yeah. Verse 24. Coming down to verse 24. Amen. And so as he's there, they're, they're, they're looking for Jesus. And, 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 they're, and, and they're just thinking, you know, that Jesus has done such a wonderful work. Have you ever known someone who had won the lottery? Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about being a millionaire this morning during Sabbath school. But how about winning that lottery? Somebody win that lottery. I don't know if you have a lottery in South Carolina. I have a lottery in South Carolina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you knew somebody won the lottery, wouldn't you want to be hanging out with him or her? <laughs> somebody you ain't been talking to, you know, your friend from high school, they done won the lottery, you saw it on the news, and, and then you say, you know what, I'm going to call up Johnny because he done won the lottery. I ain't talked to him about 20 years. But I'm going to call him up, check him up, see how he doing. You know, just because, just you know, we boys and everything. You call him up, hey, Johnny, how you doing? He's like, fine, how you doing? Yeah, hey, man, I heard you won the lottery. You doing all right? You mind if I stop by and see you? <laughs> you know, you know, you know, since we boys, we can catch up, you know, for 20 years and whatnot. But people are funny. Yeah. They ain't talked to nobody 20 years, and they finally won the lottery, and then they want to start hanging out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how these people were. Yeah. Jesus had fed them, and then he decides, they decided that, you know, we need to start hanging out with Jesus. We need to start following him, mm -hmm. because he got food. Yeah. 